Indiana Governor Eric Holcomb joins us now. He travels all around the world trying to uh, entice people to yeah. invest in the state of Indiana. And I got to think that always when <laughs> you're doing those pitches, you're leading off with racing in the Speedway. And, and people are already familiar with our city and our state <laughs> because of this sport and this event on this day. Absolutely. And sports, number one, brings people together. Racing being, you know, we had a stretch there of about seven years where we had five different victors from five different continents. And so, not countries, but continents. And it really does pull people together. And to have this as part of our calling card, to be able to, to uh, use as a kind of a magnet to come grow with us, go as fast as you want to go. I mean, the metaphors and the analogies are just natural. And then to show what we're able to do, the biggest sporting event on planet Earth every single year. And this year, you can tell this is rivaling the 100th running in terms of attendance. And it'll be interesting to see what you know how it all shakes out if we go north of that but people just see how we come together as a city and as a state and get things done a lot of volunteers to be able to pull off something this big and that wears well with the community that we're trying to pitch right. about why indiana what was the first uh, indy 500 you attended and what was that like for you uh it was in my high school years uh very special still re remember we grew up watch or listening actually on the radio uh, in our garage in our neighborhood in Chapel Hill on the west side, Wayne Township, uh, and the neighborhood would have a picnic and you would bring the potato salad, you'd bring the chicken, <laughs> you'd bring the et cetera. And, uh, and so then as I got older growing up, and we moved to Claremont growing up there, then me and my buddy started coming out here maybe during the month of May before right. the race as well and started to take it in. So it's been in my blood since the very beginning as well. And now, and you know, we had the drags on the other side in Brownsburg. Um, and and now to have just this past weekend, just Saturday or uh, su Friday night, I introduced Tim Sendrick, the president of Penske Racing into, he was inducted into the Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. And so for us to grow up together as little fifth graders, <laughs> to me now, introducing him along with Tony George, who we looked up to the Holman family is that's a whole different world. Right. And then to be part of all the official ceremonies, the reason we're here is because it's Memorial Day and mm -hmm. we're celebrating all those lives and legacies that laid it on the line, their families and themselves that um, paid the sacrifices so that we could gather here with yeah. 300,000 of our closest friends. And then to be able to pull people from around the world, the people from Asia, Europe, South America with us today and all across the country. We've got uh, about 20 people from California, none of which have been to the Indianapolis 500. Um, and boy, are they in for the mm -hmm. treat. And sometimes they think they've seen it all. I said, you think you've seen tattoos on Muscle Beach? You ain't seen nothing. <laughs> you ain't seen nothing. <laughs> Until Come you to go the to the snake, snake pit. pit. Yeah, exactly <laughs> right. That's exactly right. All right, Governor, yeah. thanks yep. so much. Well, you know, any deals that you want to work, do a little business today, you'll go snap, it. snap to it. Yep, I'll go. Yeah, we'll report back, and we I'll want go. the exclusive on that. Love In it. the meantime, uh, we want